So, um, what are we gonna do tonight, O.C.? Well, the same thing we try to do every night, but to take over the world. Uh, I mean, YouTube. Take over YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again. Again, by my faithful man servant slash fuck totem Bertram. And this is my review for Gunvolt Chronicles Luminous Avenger 9. So, my friends, Gunvolt Chronicles Luminous Avenger 9 was released in 2019 and is a sequel. Ah, uh, prequel, ah, uh, whatever quell, to the Azure Striker Gunvolt games. Now a little fact for you, dear viewer. The title of this game, in its native Japanese, translates literally as Kiss My Ass Mega Man. No, sorry, I'm looking at my notes here. That's not right. It actually means Suck My Sausage, Mega Man. Well, here's hoping the little bastard resists. If it's not clear already, I'm not a fan of Mega Man. Or people that pronounce scone, scone. So in this game, we play as Copen, who you might remember as the other playable character besides Gunvolt in Azure Striker Gunvolt 2. I must admit I was hesitant to play this game when I saw he would be the protagonist, especially after the lawsuit. What lawsuit, you might be asking, dear viewer? Well, after Gunvolt 2 was released, one of the female characters sued Copen. Apparently, she accused him of Copen a feel. <laughs> Do you get it? You know, Copen a feel. Pop in a field, you know. Never mind. <clears throat> Moving on. Now, Copin is once again fighting against the dreaded. Um. Whatever the villains are called. For. Uh. Good reasons, I'm sure. But he won't be alone in this fight. At the start of the game. Copen befriends a group of orphans. I say orphans, but I just think they were people pretending to be orphans. How do I know, you might ask? Well, it's quite simple, really. I never saw any of the little bastards using drugs, and not one of them tried to pick Copen's pocket or offer him sexual favors for money. Yes. Now, like the previous games, this is another side-scrolling platformer where you will mostly spend your time running through levels, gunning down enemies that get in your way, and of course, fighting a boss at the end of each stage. These will usually be against some dickhead who talks too much, wearing an outfit so stupid, I think even Lady Gaga would cringe. Speaking of outfits, you'll be glad to hear this game carries on the tradition of Japanese game developers dressing female characters in as little as possible. If you want us to be aroused constantly while playing your game, Mr. Game Director, then 
at least have the common decency to provide the tissues and lotion, man. So, as you might have already guessed, this game is yet another Mega Man clone. But unlike the Mega Man games, the Gunvolt games don't make me want to throw my console out of the window. You see, the last time I did that, some old geriatric fool happened to be walking past and let's just say, I saved his family a fortune in nursing home fees. Now I do enjoy the Gunvolt games and I am very much looking forward to Azure Striker Gunvolt 3. Not as much as I'm looking forward to getting my hands on that little bastard who stole my wallet. But still. So, what else will you be doing in this game? Well, in between the levels, you can upgrade your abilities. Customize coping or talk to the not orphans. You know... I once had a conversation with an orphan. I say orphan, but his mother was still alive. She was just in prison for prostitution or some other public service. The orphan didn't know who his father was, and apparently neither did his mother. So I did the natural thing. Comfort the child. I hugged him close and I said, Don't worry, little bastard. Things are only going to get much, much worse for you. Now, while I had been saying this, he managed to steal my wallet. So I guess he is an orphan after all. I... What the hell was I even talking about? Ah, uh, I mentioned the- Oh yes! Like the previous Gunvolt games, this is a very nice looking little platformer. Very retro. So, will no doubt appeal to you fat chaps who wet your pants every time someone says phrases like pixel art. 1980s or bacon double cheeseburger. What else can I tell you? Uh, oh yes, there is a boss gauntlet before you get to the final boss in this game. Splendid! You see, I do love a boss gauntlet. Oh, I, I'm sorry, did I say love? I meant loathe. What could possibly be worse than fighting six tossers? I know, fighting those same six tossers again, one after the other. I haven't seen this much tossing since some fool let me stand in the same room as Ava Green. I'm sorry, <laughs> did I say fool? I meant God. And speaking of God, do I recommend this game? Hmm, I most certainly do. Particularly if you enjoy the other Gunvolt titles. Therefore, I am going to give this game an 8 out of 10. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My review for Gunvolt Chronicles. If you've enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then feel free to give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, bell button thingy. How else am I supposed to know how much you love me if you don't hit that button and subscribe to my bloody channel? Feel free to jump over to my Twitch as well if you're so inclined. But remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer. 
And that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. Yeah. Are you still here? Go away! I'm sure you've got something better to do with your time. No, seriously. Piss off! Be gone! Au revoir! A be de Zane! Bye! What in the hell is wrong with you? Go away! Vacate this space! Hit the cross at the top of the screen! The video is done! It's over! It's finito! It's caputo!